Okay, so take two on this thing because I'm because I'm saying too many similes and metaphors, and that is annoying as hell, hell to do. But but anyway, hey, the the original thing I wanted to ramble about was how I had a snafu on my PS3. He because all thanks to Modern Warfare 2, this this having another nail in that casket on why Modern Warfare 2 ruined the PS3's heyday. Well, even though it's like long, well, I, not heyday, just ruining the PS3's reputation on myself because it's just, because that thing just kicked the bucket on when it comes to, um, in, within in its own BS though, but that's gonna be a whole nother subject. But anyway, and people ask me, why am I even playing in GT5 when, when you had six, when you have six, but also dot dot dot, you had GT Sport, which you could have done that and ha make it look better and better. And then GT Seven is on its way on in a few days from now. Ah, uh, I just don't care. The whole idea of getting Sport, well, it's just playing Sport just aged like milk. What in that regards? Which I could have just used the seven eight seven B and just go around the Norvagreen and do that. But anyway. I just I reflect back to when I play played GT5. It's just so so much memories on this game, despite that it has its problems. It's just ever since five released, every the series just went to hell with its problems. I mean, yeah, it has some quirks such as the ability to change the time of the day because I always drive at four in the morning, regardless of what car I preferred. And also, I can flicker the high beams and and make the windshield wipers mo wipe on its own. But but it's just that the devs really half-assed a lot of things back in its day because because some of the PTSD that is just kicking in. For example, for example, the maps look like look like the PS One. Or in Minecraft at the same time, which is weird as hell because, which, eh, man, it's like one of the most biggest gripes about it. And also, I try it. It was the first attempt to try, like try and put damage modeling in body kits at the same time. But the problem is when you try to destroy your car, it, or it looks like your car is made of made of wax or something. So yeah, because I've seen some of the pictures where like ugh, it looks like you it took a wax scale of your car and then took it out into the sun. The sun and then just melted and and it just melted it for like a for like a minute and whatnot. So yeah. And that's that's one reason why it's derpy and also when trying to install a body kit, it just you just have an elongated version of the stock bumper bumper or a lip and maybe a diffuser but yeah so yeah that's a uh, annoying that the customization is that lackluster which which my previous attempt was at the only real significant change was if it were to resemble a 2000s era body kit was the uh, dc5 integra so yeah 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 so and then, I mean, yeah, there are, are racing mods, but those are, I mean, as much as the design of the body kit that's used in racing mods is for, air, like, functionality only, but, nah, there's other dedicated 2000s body kits where that's all, all function in mind and whatnot, yet they look good because of the, what, of that, but... I digress. I mean, yeah, this was like long before licensing became an issue, but here's the thing. When it comes to knowing the, uh, I mean, yeah, the GT7, they say they confirmed that there's going to be a much wider variety now, but I forgot to check the videos of what you can and can't install, because I heard there's actual engine swaps this time. Thus, it'll be quote-unquote, insert two-liter engine inside a, uh, a form... A former, like, a former 600cc car, so, eh. Or a V8 in a, uh, the infamous v 8 in rotaries type of ordeal and all, so, yeah. But, anywho, it's just, uh, It's like, 
as much as I'm getting nostalgia, but at the same time, well, blinded by nostalgia, because it just makes me bring back memories of all the times during the end of my uh, high school, well, in move in in transitioning onto adulting. It's just it just makes me feel. I mean. I mean, hell, during the time period, I mean, in, at this date that I'm playing it at the moment, it's just, ah, oh, man. And it just makes me happy and feeling alive in comparison to now, which, and whatnot, so, yeah, that's a, that's a whole different subject, because, because I made a whole rant about, oh, a certain subject when it comes to playing video games in high school, I mean, in being almost done and whatnot, but that's, it's all I'm done for, but man, looking on GT5, it's just, it just makes you, uh, like, one of the few games that makes you escape from reality, pretty much, because I'm just having all, just having just so many bad days at schools in life, and just playing this game just helps me relax, along with the, uh, whatever, whatever, like, good meta FPS games that were back in the time, but, but that's, and that that's its old different story as well. But anywho, it's just let's just pray that GT seven actually lives up to expectations despite that you're not gonna get everything that you want. Well yeah, that's a, another BS thing about racing games is that is I'm just tired how of how oh you just can't get anything you want anymore these days, even though it's in previous tiles because of all the licensings, IPs, and whatnot, and then let's just hope that GT7 actually saves the PS5, because, I mean, looking, as as I'm seeing now, since I've been playing nothing but Horizon, well, Motor, Forza Motorsport 7, Horizon 4, and then Horizon 5 all at the same time, it's just, ah, uh, man, as much as Forzas have their quirks and whatnot, it'd be nice if they just didn't make them so derpy. So yeah, let's just pray that gaming doesn't piss us off anymore because it, it's already lackluster again.